So just a little bit about myself before we start going over in the room. My name is Zach Witherspoon. I'm the strength coach here for New Mexico State men's basketball. Um, prior to being here, I was at Exos, which does NBA, NFL Combine, Major League Baseball stuff. So a lot of what you see as far as how we're training is how we're training professional athletes. And that's certainly a goal for all of our guys as well as winning championships. So that's really what our whole system and approach is built around. So as you walk in, see we've got 40 yards of field turf here. This is where we do all of our warm up. A lot of our basketball players kind of think, why do I need field turf? Why is that important? But think to all the jumping and landing you've done on hardwood, right? This is an area for us to train that jumping, landing, flexibility, and mobility that we care about on a softer surface that isn't taking as much out of your legs, out of your joints, and helps us kind of put stuff back in the tank without having to take anything away from the floor. So it's a very important area for us as far as what we do in the weight room. So after we come out of our warm up, our flexibility and mobility stuff, we really get to the platform where we're focused on building the motor. And really this, this piece is the crown jewel of our weight room. This is Elite Form Motion Capture. It's two cameras and a tablet, allows us to be completely paperless. We're fortunate enough here to have more in one room than anyone else in the country. We're one of the first 10 schools to use them. It's been a, a blessing to our program to be able to use them to train power maximally year round. So we want to win games in February, March, and April. So we're constantly training for that. And to do that, we've got to do things incredibly well, simple things done savagely well. And we've got to make sure that we're getting the most out of every rep, out of every set. So once I'm here, say I'm logged in and I'm bench pressing. Athlete's gonna hit start set. See, I've got two reps and I'm supposed to be at 0.6 meters per second velocity. Basically, it's just saying, are you moving fast enough? So you'll see, if I do a rep that's too slow, it'll turn red. First rep, too slow. Second rep, fast enough, that'll be green, okay? When we've got a whole team in here training, we can do competition. So the guards can go against the bigs, point guards can go against two guards, threes against fours, and so on. So it's really great because we compete over there on the floor, we can compete here in the weight room. And then the last part I mentioned earlier, simple things done savagely well. We know that if you're not training properly, if you're not moving properly at the platform, I'm not getting the most out of what you're doing and I'm putting you at risk. So you see this instant video feedback here. You see I got the printout. This is all the numbers that facilitate great conversations on your training, but then also instant video replay of what's going on at the actual platform. So you'll see my two reps here, the reps too fat or the reps too slow and the rep that's fast enough. This is also great when we have testing days because guys like to get their phone, come back in here, and then all of a sudden big sets end up on Instagram. So that's Elite Form Motion Capture. It's a great piece for us, and it constantly elevates what we do here with Aggie basketball. As we kind of progress through our session, we've gone through our warm up, then we're building the motor. We're building the engine here. Over here in our dumbbell pit, this area is where we're taking care of the wheels. So, just so you guys know, everybody's got that stat that they're worried about. For us, we're worried about you know, points per possession defensively. Guys care about rebounds, guys care about assists, guys care about points. For me, it's missed man games due to certain injuries. So over here, we have injury reduction protocols for the ankle, for the knee, for the hamstring, and for the shoulder. Now, unfortunately, this last season, we got bit by the injury bug, right? But these injuries that we're reducing, thankfully, they were reduced as far as the severity and their time back to play was a lot quicker than what it would normally be in other programs. So it's something that's important that you hear from me. It's dear to my heart because when you walk in those doors, you trust me with not only your performance, like we see on the platform, but also your health, which is what shows up over here. So over here, you see we've got all the logos with the inlaid dumbbells. We've got plenty of space to do anything we're doing from a dumbbell snatch to a dumbbell bench to a goblet squat, whatever that may be. We got plenty of room to get the good work in. Then over here, we've got our belt squats, also our pit sharks, so we can squat guys in ways that are best for them. Some of our taller guys only use the belt squat pit sharks. Some of our shorter guys are front squatting and back squatting at the platform. Then kind of rounding out a session, once we've gone through warm up, building the motor, prehab and injury reduction, it's always important that you're fueling the athlete. So this nutrition area is open to you guys from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're also working with local restaurants in the dining hall for post-practice meals and then additional food options for you guys because 
food you guys need to fuel your bodies and to fuel your performance is totally different than the guy sitting next to you in an English class. And we know that, so we're trying to give you the best service possible. We, we like to say that you gotta be a pro before you become a pro. You gotta train like a pro, you gotta eat like a pro, you gotta work like a pro. So that's how we approach it all, as far as the training aspect and as far as the nutrition aspect. Last thing I'll say is, we break it down on family here. And it's important to me that you guys know that when you step on this campus and you trust me to train you in this weight room, that you're forever a member of this Aggie family. Still got athletes who are playing overseas, who have had NBA contracts, who have G League contracts, who come back, train with me in the summers. And it's important to me that you know when once you build this relationship that that's what it is. It's a relationship, it's lifelong. It's not just, I'm a strength coach guy here to tell you what to do, squat more weight, work hard, all those things. It's about being a process. It's about being a part of this journey for you as you progress through your career.